Chris Cobb here with Top Prospects Goaltending, and today I have Leah White, a freshman at St. Michael's College, uh, well, a COVID freshman. Uh, she was at school last year, but there was no games. Uh, so this is her first real season. She played her first game uh, last Saturday uh, for St. Mike's against Plattsburgh, and how many shots did you face, Leah? 47. 47. She stopped 45 of 47 shots in her first college game. Uh, dove into the film and uh, was really impressed with her. I know she she might not admit it, but she was a little nervous before the game, and uh, it's mm -hmm. but it settled in uh, and she played great. So, gonna have Leah run through some post play clips today. Uh, heavily debated topic on the best save selection to use and. You know, our philosophy is no two goalies are exactly alike. Uh, you have the VH, you have the RVH, and you have the overlap. So you got to figure out what works for you. And so I'm going to play out the clip. I'm going to let it run through. Then I'm going to go back and going to let Leah explain why she used the safe selection she did in the situation. So first one, she used a VH here on a on an entry situation. Makes a good save, good timing. So the post, uh, the principle for post play is your in your save selection, regardless of what it is, with the post sealed before the shot is released. So, Leah, you used the yeah. VH here. Why? Why did you use the VH in this situation? Um. Well, first of all, it, like it felt the most natural to me, and I think that's what you should always use when it comes to save selection. Um, and I think it felt the most natural to me in this situation because of um, when I use a VH, like you can just go right onto the post. But when I use RVH, you kind of like have to step away to like go lean into the post. And it happened so quickly that I didn't have time to like leave any space open. So right here, you can see Leah's left foot or left skate on the glove side. Hits the post, and before that shot is released, her right pad is down and sealed, and there's no holes. Uh, so, Leah, you've wrapped out the VH, the RVH, and the overlapped many times, correct? Yes. And what is it that allows you to just in the moment have that feel versus being... And, and this doesn't work for every goalie. Every goalie might be like, okay, the puck's here. I have to use this save selection. They could have success. But... You know, we've wrapped out all three, and you just do what comes naturally in the moment uh, through habits. So what is it that uh, here, you know, made you feel comfortable with this? Uh, I'd say that just, like, practicing them so you feel comfortable in this, having them in your toolbox, and then uh, doing practice drills with your team, just, like uh, – doing what feels right like try all three in practice and if you do it enough like it'll just start coming natural like what feels best when in what situation and then uh, it'll translate over the games all right the next one rvh save selection let this play out so the shots from closer in here, the other couple were, uh, you know, a little bit closer to the dot line, right about the bottom of the circle. This one, pretty close to the crease. Why Why did you use the RVH here over the VH? I think when they're that close, I think RVH would be more natural in most situations because... Um, I can, I can kind, kind of, of like lean my body forward a little bit to cut down the angle so that I can't just like shoot it, go like top shelf in close. Uh, so this was one of the goals. Uh, I asked Lee if it was okay to show this, to talk it through and, and what ended up happening and then what we practiced uh, from the feedback we got from this on Monday. So this game was Saturday and what we practiced Monday. So we'll show you the goal and then we'll show you what we worked on uh, to try and prevent this from happening again. 
It was quick, so I'm going to back it up. As you can see here, Leah uses the RVH. Again, it's in tight like she talked about. Plattsburgh player makes a great play here, just getting a backhand. It might go off something. They have a player open in front who ends up putting it in. Uh, so the first question I'll ask Leah, you know, do you feel looking back on this, the RVH was the right save selection here? I think that RVH could definitely be used in that situation. Did I do everything correctly? Like, I don't think so. But I think that VH for me, when they're in that close, is harder. So that's why I think I went for the RVH. Yeah. Yeah. So we practiced this. We talked about it. And based on the puck the puck's location, so it's out of the blue paint. We just mm -hmm. use the terms blue paint and white paint. So it's in the white paint. What would you do differently again with the puck being in the white paint versus the blue paint? Because right now you're paddled down. Yeah, so I would have done finger on pads, is that, that what we call it? Yep. Yeah, so I would have had my body more upright, and instead of having my paddle down, I would have my blocker on the top of my pad uh, to cover any holes. And I think um, if I was in that position, I would have been more in control and probably could have gotten over quicker. Based on the feedback we got from the game, uh, you know, when I break down a game, I always look at what did the goalies do well? What were their strengths? Make sure to show them that. We focus too much on the, on the negative and it's, okay, what did they do well? And how do we make sure they continue to do that well? Because they got to leverage their strengths, play to their strengths. And then it's, okay, what's the feedback practice? So what's the one key thing we can work on to help them get better and take their game to the next level come the weekend? So what we worked on with Leah here was just some footwork. She used the pucks behind the goal line uh, as visual attachment for some movement when to stay on her feet and when to go down. As you can see here, the pucks get closer to the net as they come around. So that's why she takes a step on her feet off the goal line here, right there. But then it would be a tight wrap situation uh, if I was skating the puck, but we just wanted to slow it down. And then what Leah was talking about before, her blocker up, we just call it fingers on pad, the fingers in your blocker on your pad. And from the angle, the iPad it was up obviously a little bit higher than the puck, so the puck's seen even lower. There's not much net here. So, Leah, where can they score here? Is there anywhere they can score if we shoot straight on? Uh, not from that close. So maybe they got an inch above my head, but that's about it. Yeah. And Leah does a good job. Her head uh, is over the puck. Her shoulders are forward. She has active hands. So as you can see, when I end up shooting this puck, it hits her. And then she's able to jump on it and cover the puck right after that in the blue paint. Uh, but the whole key to this was as Leah came across, she read it was a wrap. Okay, the puck's now in the white paint. She just pulls up. No holes opened up as she pulled up, but she gives herself more inches, which covers more of the net. And now if I do walk out or if I passed it out in a game situation, she has more power on her leg to be able to push off that post uh, and be a bigger and maximize coverage of the top of the net. And then the situation here, same thing, but now I just started with the puck in the blue paint for deliberate practice. And she just goes paddle down. And what you can see uh, here, her paddle never extends beyond the blue paint. And we call it protective blue paint. If it's in the blue paint, paddle down. If it's in the white paint, fingers on top of the pad. Now, Leah, why, when the puck's in the white paint, do you not want to go paddle down? Or try uh, and say, block it with your paddle, extend your paddle? Uh, because they, there's, there's so, so much, much more room on the top when you do that. Yep. And what if you miss it with your paddle and I walk out? I'm um, out of position and I won't have any power to push over. Yeah. Exactly. So uh, just wanted to walk you guys through this today with Leah so you can hear and, and see uh, from her perspective why she used the safe selections that she did. 
and uh, she had a lot of success with it because she's reps, repped it out. Uh, the details within the safe selection and the feel have just become pro habits for her. And uh, it allowed to have her to have success in her, her first ever college game. Uh, anything else, Leah, to add when it comes to post play? Uh, I would say just try new things. Uh, and yeah, wrap them out. And don't be afraid to try something new in a game because that's how you learn. Again, so. Leah, best of luck, and uh, I look forward to getting back to work with you on Monday. Thanks. I can't wait. Thanks for having me.